What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was sort of a last-minute, arranged-ish matchup uh, versus one of my good buddies, um, Jay Parshall's new clan called Power COC. Uh, these guys... Uh, a really good group of guys. I know a good chunk. Actually, my mini mini is in the clan, um, just kind of hanging out with them, doing occasional war kind of thing. But these guys are a very, very uh, up and coming three star war clan. Um, you know, they got an awesome website set up. Uh, these guys are are really just, uh, you know, up and comers. Uh, they're a brand new clan. They merged with a clan called Kronos, I believe. Um, took a lot of their guys. They're using Kronos as their feeder clan now. And they're really starting to develop in a really good war clan. So we expect to see these guys very, very soon on the horizon uh, doing some arranged matchups and kicking some ass. Uh, let's just check out what happened. It was 85-74. So Power COC did fall a little bit short to Invicta there. Um, and I'll kind of tell you what happened, right? They did get a few TH10 triples in there. Um, you know, so their top... It was really on the ball. Like some of these attacks were really, really nice. Um, their problem fell in the nines. And although the town halls were even, uh, Invicta definitely had a huge hero advantage. I think it was a, a few, couple hundred at least hero levels, um, specifically in the town hall nines. So when that's the case, and it makes it really difficult for your nines to clear the board, um, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, you just don't have that many bully attacks to use, right? Obviously, Invicta had some really nice bases, probably some bases that a lot of these guys were uh, not used to seeing. And I remember when we first started getting in the arranged war game, when you start seeing these true, um, you know, anti three star bases for the first time, it, it, you, you can struggle a bit, right? And it's a whole new ball game. So, you know, Power COC, even though the score was a little lopsided, uh, did an amazing job for the hero disadvantage that they had. Uh, so hats off, guys, you know, uh, keep at it. It's just going to come around. Obviously, even a, even a chunk of these guys were still in, like, their trial process with them. So, um, but it was nice to get, uh, I'm sure, get some practice in under their belts because, you uh, yeah, you know, welcome to the welcome to the hardcore war uh, game for a lot of these guys. It's uh, it's not as easy as it looks sometimes. So hats off to Power COC. You guys did great. Uh, keep it up. Keep it up. That's all I can say. And Invicta, you guys just rocked it. Just a fantastic war for Invicta. Cleared those nines with ease, except for 17 there, which uh, we definitely had some struggles with. I um, think that was the only one that we missed. Yep, all the way down. So uh, nice job by Silent Wolf there. Um, we even had a, a missed bully, unfortunately. Um, but whatever. We, uh, you know, take a look, right? I mean, did not get any threes, but got those uh, nice nice two stars on their one and two. Uh, we did three star, uh, did a TH11 three star on uh, my old buddy Dota. In fact, let's take a look at this roster real quick. See how I know. So uh, Dota, I know, obviously JP, uh, Crazy Udo, I know, I was never in the clan with him, but definitely recognize him, uh, da, 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 Zed Bear, good old Zed Bear's in there, there's definitely other guys in this clan that, huh, pretty sure Glenn had his, um, has his mini in there as well, like our Glenn from Invicta, who's, I think, just got promoted, I don't know. I got to get caught up with my uh, current events. Anyhow, great war. It was fun. Thanks, Power COC. You guys are champs. Keep at it. Uh, let's just check out some of these replays here. Going to start off at the bottom. <clears throat> Doing a few of these ones just cold. Uh, where was the one I looked? I always like Yas's attacks, but... Uh, yeah, I want to show Mikhail here. <clears throat> trying to find these uh, bases that aren't <laughs> double jump Govahos. Look what I've done and started, eh? <laughs> Everyone's just double jump Govaho City now. So, nice little entry. Got to get that town hall down as soon as possible. But double wizards on it, right? Queen's down, kind of doing work. And all the high hit point crap out of the way. Wall opens up into that queen chamber. 
Uh, so the plan here is to get his queen into the into the queen chamber once all these defenses are dead, and she should be able to pick off both those air defense. Uh, then he's got three lava hounds, fourteen balloons in the bag. Uh, jump spell goes down to make sure the golems can get pushed up ahead. Not even hundred percent sure if he needed that jump because everything he could have just left everything in that compartment if the queen had went in, which she didn't. So that kind of poses to be a bit of a problem for Mike here. Uh, but the CC troops are going down here slowly under that poison. Really needs to take care of that balloon, though. It is wreaking havoc on that golem. Rages the king up. Takes that down. So he only gets one air defense out of the deal here. Now, obviously, he wanted more out of that. But with the Town Hall 8 air defense, you can you can generally get away with having a less, one last lava hound. So that's kind of what he does here. Um, hound goes in. Uh, that balloon doesn't mean a lot. It's just going to go over that queen and get taken out instantly. Hay spell goes down. Bam, bam, bam. Just going to kind of move all the all the hounds kind of to that middle air defense next. Drop them balloons. Couple at a time on the outside. Just kind of pressing everything in the middle of that base. Uh, but you can see what I mean. Like the balloons are not taking any damage. Those hounds are tanking absolutely everything. Even this little trip Tesla farm here, which I thought was actually a really good, uh, well set up Tesla farm. Uh, I like how they're all in different compartments like that. See how the loons take that. They have to go to each one individually. I mean, obviously they're going to get them, but it did cost that little bit of extra time. Uh, but there's just too many hastes and the defenses are just uh, not strong enough being Town Hall 8. So this base does not stand a chance. All pups around the base. Queen continuing her little walk around the base. Uh, it's too bad the Queen didn't go into that compartment because it would have just destroyed the base that much quicker. But swag haste in the bag. Three stars for Mikhail. Nice job, my friend. Oh, what's next? Of Yass's hit here on uh, JP's little guy. Mm -mm -mm. That coffee. Got that International Delight Hazelnut Cream. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but if you're coffee drinkers and you never had International Delight Hazelnut, you're missing out on life. So you see this little, it's a, <laughs> again, queen charge slash walk, uh, go home, right? Uh, very, very powerful attack. She's going to use the queen to just take a, a, this whole kind of section of base over here. Um, that's hilarious. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this is an old base I may have built for JP if he tweaked it. Now that I'm look now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> JP, that's totally my base. I know it is. <laughs> I recognize this queen chamber. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Anyhow, let's watch it get three starred. Cause uh Yas is gonna come just gonna continue this walk all the way down, right? She's gonna get the 12 or he her, I guess, for the queen, whatever, got him out of it today. Uh, today's happy recap catch-up day, by the way. Uh, had the day off. Uh, I got like four recaps I want to do. I got cleanup episodes I want to do. I try to do two cleanup episodes, and the camera, I'm still having problems. Sometimes my camera, for no reason, the audio is not synced, and it's really pissing me off. I don't understand what is going on. I thought I had it fixed, and clearly I don't. It's just happening randomly because I... Anyways, I don't want to get into it, but um, it's getting to the point where I might just disable the camera altogether until I figure it out, but uh, we'll see how this recap goes. I think I'm good now. Uh, CC troops coming out, right? Uh, kind of lock on to those healers, <laughs> which poses to be a bit of an issue because look at the drag. Just boom, take out those healers so quickly. So see you later, healers, but it doesn't matter. She got what she needed she got the whole 12 to 12 to 9 section so now you can go into the queen chamber here the cold-blooded golem five bucks drops that giant to help create that funnel bam 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 <clears throat> here comes that jump spell just gonna delay just a one more second make sure that uh, king and all the valves go right in that queen chamber take out that defensive queen bam 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 Swear this is my base. If it's not JP, I'm sorry, but I think it is. Or, or at least a variation of it, I want to say. Maybe not. Maybe not. I just recognize that queen chamber for some reason. So queen chamber is now taken care of, and there's literally the core of this base to go. Those hogs are all in on every defense, all on the outside. Those valks are in there just ripping stuff up. 
has one heel still that he's going to drop right over this core or maybe even save it. So really all he's got is the mortar and air defense to go. So let's just call it a swag heel here. Bam. Yes, just murdered it, buddy. Very nice stack. Three stars in the bag. JP, message me. Tell me if that's my base. <laughs> All righty. All right. What else did I want to show here? There's the line. You know, the line's hit here. Lime decides to pen to this base, and I was going to tell you guys, uh, sorry, Quad Lalo cold-blooded this base. Now, whenever, I'm not saying it is always a bad idea to do what this guy did, but putting an air defense in the chamber with your queen, it just opens you up to this style of attack, right? One golem, send the heroes in, a few wizards for funnel. You're going to get the queen. You're going to get a good chunk of defenses because of whatever protecting the queen there and an air defense. And that air defense is key. Who cares if the lava hound's there, right? You can just kind of let everything die at this point because air defense is down. A bunch of defenses are down. Bam, bam, bam. And he's got four lava hounds and a bunch of balloons that he's going to send in on the remainder of these uh, air defenses. Look at this. Four hastes. Two rages. So here comes Lava Hound number one. A few balloons going to just kind of uh, target on each of the defenses on the outside. Guess that. Haste down nice and early. Drops four more balloons. It's going to take out this bottom six o'clock section. These air defense are really close together. So the hound shifting over is not a big deal whatsoever. Boom. Hound's going to shift on over. Got that third hound in. More haste going down. A few more balloons kind of targeting. Just kind of getting everything moving in a counterclockwise rotation. Here goes the rage now too. Going to rage everything on over through these cannons. <clears throat> Gets that last lava hound in on that last air defense. Another rage goes down. Just going to push these balloons right on top. This base does not stand a chance. Very, very compact base with the air defense in the queen chamber. It's just screaming cold-blooded Lalo. And <laughs> Lime Killer just absolutely rocks it. Boom. It's tree stars in the bag for Lime. Nice job. <clears throat> um, there was Slick in there and Grady. Um, I'm going to show both of these. So, surprise, surprise, another Queen Charge Govaho. Same idea here, guys. Um, Slick is going to just do a bit of a walk and kind of push, I believe, um, up and around this 12 o'clock spot. Let's get this going here. We've got the fun ones. Yeah, there's the Queen. <clears throat> oh, just going to charge right in at this. That's right. Um, so Queen just charges right in and gets, like, all these defenses are all kind of targetable. Maybe not that Arch Tower, but once she gets in this compartment, all of this stuff is going to be targetable. So she's going to get all of that and pull up that CC. Once the CC comes out, going to drop the Cold Blood Golem with the five ballots, only 12 logs in the bag. So he's got to take, he's got to get a big, big piece of this base. Um... Uh, with the queen and his uh, little mini uh, kill squad with the Valks here. Otherwise, the, the 12 hogs is not going to be enough to get to this whole top section. We're going to kind of see how this plays out. Queen's diffusing. You know damn well there's a double giant bomb in that core there. Queen is diffusing it. See you later. Uh, CC troops come out. Uh, does have some of the archers trail off uh, to the bottom here. Just kind of interesting. Um, needs to yank out the rest of the CC. I'm pretty sure there's a, a witch. Uh, but goes ahead anyways. Drops the golem. Funneling Wizards are down. Wall is about to get opened up. Test Breaker is good. More Breakers in. Wall opens up. King goes down. Going to drop those Valks in right behind. Just got to take out this one compartment. So here comes those Archers. Yeah, it was a witch. <coughs> I guess he had felt he had used too many Hogs to try and get it out, and that was it. Um, but the Poison goes down anyways, right on top of that witch. So that's perfect. Valks are going to wreck those Skellies in a couple swipes. Even a couple hogs in to help things out here. Wizards over there. It's just not going to last in time. It's too bad. Uh, Would have been nice if it could have got that Tesla there. But no big deal. Queen is still working. There goes that double giant bomb we talked about. Rage goes down. So now look. This whole top section. This queen charge has now got one, two, three, four, five compartments worth of defenses. Plus the queen chamber was taken out via the Valks and King. So there's only three compartments of defenses to go with a heal for the rest of these hogs. So he's got about 10 hogs. He's just going to throw in at this three o'clock location. Heal, heal, heal. Going to knock all this stuff down. Queen's now stepping up, helping out. King is even in there with his ability still unused. 
chops one hog on that Tesla just to finish it off. Bam, bam, bam. Tesla goes down. Mortar is the last defense to go. And you know what that means. That is tree stars in the bag for Slick. Nice job, buddy. <clears throat> and then I want to show Zed Bear. Good old gravy. Grits and gravy. So uh, this was kind of a cool base design. I thought this was a neat little kind of alleyway. So it's a closed off alleyway like this. This to me is something more subtle and something that just kind of might throw an attacker off but isn't really going to hurt you in the long run. Uh, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of neat. Uh, I'd much prefer to see something like this than to have bo both sides of this open. Like I've seen a lot of bases. Um, you guys know how I feel about these alleyway bases. Still have yet to see. But this is almost like a closed off version of those alleyways. So uh, I would much rather like to see a base like this. Um, although Gravy brings a really, really sexy attack here. Same thing, guys. Uh, queen charge, go -bo, sort of walk, charge, whatever you want to call it. Uh, she's going to walk and then I believe, believe start charging into the base. So out comes that CC. Uh, does not quite get it all because of that bomb, unfortunately. I would have dropped another hog at that point. There it is. Um, only offs for the three Valks this time. I thought that was very smart. I think I should have done that. I just had a horrible war myself against the uh, exclusive modders. Um, uh, it's been a long time since I've got at least one three star in a war. And uh, yeah, I failed both my attacks. And both of them weren't even very good plans, I find. I don't know. Uh, maybe it was just off my game. But um, I think, you know, watching McGrady's uh, art, art, uh, troop comp here, I brought too many Valks. I didn't need that many Valks to get their goals accomplished. I should have brought more Hogs. It would have been more beneficial. Um, and Grady, uh, Grady is showing us how it's done. So this walk's going to continue on, getting huge, huge value. CC is taken care of now. Um, going to finish off the 6 o'clock compartment. Then he's going to send in um, a Golem and his King. A few Wizards kind of raid in at this Queen Chamber up top. Once that is done, so yeah. So wall's now open. Queen's going to kind of shift up. Stand up in this section. Does not have a rage. Has not used the ability yet, though, at the same time. So that is absolutely awesome. Expo's now down. Here goes that golem I was talking about. Bunch of wizards going to go down. Funnel, funnel, funnel. <clears throat> going to get a jump spell going down over top. Get that king going in. Right at that queen. A few Valks in to help things out. See you later, queen chamber. This queen is still in there doing work. Has not popped that ability yet. That is key because really she's going to get continue to get huge value there so a couple of teslas in this little trough i like this little trough actually i might try and incorporate something similar to that in one of my bases uh but the valks in there he sends in the hogs to kind of help out with the teslas which i thought was good just protecting up those valks like nothing um so the hogs just have this one compartment to work through right there's so many hogs basically for five defenses and one of them two of them aren't even uh Defenses that attack their air defenses. So uh, cannon goes down and this base is GG gravy Just destroyed it. Like did you lose any units on this attack? I don't think you did <laughs> Beautiful tree stars in the bag All right, I think I had one more nine boy LDP So Notice only 11 hogs on this. So this is another queen, queen charge, uh, go over ho. Um, but with seven valves, very heavy on these valves with the cold blooded goal, uh, brings the double jump with two heels, no rage for the queen charge, which I thought is very interesting. I think that's very ballsy. Um, I know I generally will never, I don't know, maybe it's just cause I'm a pussy when it comes to worrying about my queen or my queen always just seems to not do what I want her to do. So I always have to have a rage just in case she gets in trouble. Um, I don't know what my deal is, but uh, I would never do a little charge or walk like this without having a, a rage for her. But uh, LDP says, you know what? I got this. I'm going to send in a cold blooded goal with seven valves because it's super easy funneling her on the side here, right? Uh, this base really should be shifted down a bit, but um Nothing to funnel off, right? Valks are right into that base immediately. Going to drop the first jump kind of over this section right here. Going to kind of get them going in a clockwise rotation. Peck is going to go down in one second. These Valks, watch this Peck up. Boom. couple shots, and it's 
dead. Kind of good he didn't lock onto the uh, onto the king. Does lose a couple box to it, but no big deal. Heals down. Everything's looking good. Going to get big, big value from the rest of these Valks in this core. Sends in a few hogs just to kind of keep everything moving in the clockwise rotation. Something you got to think about in your tax, guys. Where are things going to path? And where can you send in hogs to ensure your valves continue to go where you want them to go? Rage is up the king, right on top of that queen. Down goes that defensive queen. It's already got a few hogs in from three, just kind of pincering in on this base from all angles. Queen is still doing work down here with her ability unspent. Remember, no rage for the queen and still has not even spent the ability. So just a fantastic read here. LDP got super huge value out of that queen. Super huge value out of the valves. Really, air defense is the only thing to go. Cleanup stuff is all over the base. You guys know what that means. That is Tree Stars in the bag for my boy LDP. Nice job, man. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right. Um, maybe I did have another 9 I wanted to show here. Anyhow, let's uh, check out Unique. Beating this base up. Good old TU. Really good to have him on board. Um, believe he got, um, he's now part of Swarm leadership. Um, just recently, uh, Unique does a really good job at helping guys, uh, just organizing attacks. Um, you know, it's just one of those guys that is uh, naturally kind of a good leader. Uh, guys look up to him about where they should be hitting, um, especially because we get so many mismatches. So, you know, nine stepping up to hit our tens. Uh, Unique does a really good job at um, kind of directing everybody and just kind of getting everyone to uh, be attacking the right basis. His queen walk does not go the way he wanted it to, unfortunately. Um, pretty sure he wanted it to go down this way. Uh, but anyhow... <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, this happens on every one of my queen walks too. She never goes where I want her to. Um, I always try and favor her almost to the side that I don't want her to go to. So she clears that stuff out first and then goes the other way. But sometimes it just doesn't work that way. Like if you look where he started, there's that army camp that was dead. She he, she got sucked in by this little cannon at 12 o'clock, right? But when she was standing here, she, like I wish I could rewind. She was standing right here. It was almost like this was closer than that cannon but i it probably wasn't that's that's what brought her that way um it's unfortunate it's really hard sometimes to plan exactly where your stuff's gonna go but she's already got 25 percent of this base uh so tu is just gonna send in a crap ton of giants here uh with a couple golds open this wall up boom boom <clears throat> so everything's moving in. Queen is just going to rage it up early. Uh, take out that town hall as soon as possible so she can get in. Grand Warden's in there. King is in there. And here comes the crap ton of witches. Right? So all these giants are going to soak up a ton of this multi-inferno stuff. Rage goes down for the queen. She's going to get big, big time value. Going to rip through that lab hound and nothing. Um, all these witches hike a little bit. With the king takes a hike a little bit. So, I mean, this raid definitely didn't go exactly how team wanted. Uh, but just these beastly heroes. And just it doesn't really matter um, that the queen didn't go the right way. She just got enough of a percentage chunk of that base that, uh, that it was just enough. He does have a handful of witches in there. That queen is in there just doing serious work. The Grand Warden ability was timed perfectly. Right when all the witches got up to that second Inferno Tower and just got to get through the rest of this base. There's 80% of it dead. Nice early trigger on the double giant or on the giant bomb. Another early trigger does not lose any witches. Still has a couple witches down here. There's not much left of this base. 10% to go. T.U. Good job, buddy. It's tree stars in the bag. All right, so wish I could show a bunch more of these attacks, but um, it's already getting a little bit lengthy here. Uh, some guys had some... It's just really nice war for Invicta, so don't get down on yourself, Power COC. You guys did fantastic. Um, it takes a long time to get your nines up to a level where they're just clearing the nines like Invicta did here. Um, but you guys will get there. It's quite obvious. I mean, you guys are just destroying the farming wars. So it's only a matter of just doing a few more of these uh, more difficult wars against these anti-three stars, getting a little more comfortable with them. And it'll be the exact same. And uh, things are going to be coming down to TH10 triples in percentage. Um, so yeah, keep it up, gentlemen. Very, uh, very good try. 
uh, coming from your side. Uh, just need to clear those nines a little bit better, and uh, things will start falling into place for you. So, Victa, nice job. Smashed it. Uh, really proud of you guys. It was uh, an awesome war. I'm kind of sad I wasn't able to be part of it, but very happy I was able to recap it. So that'll do it here for your wisdom from wiser gentlemen and ladies, I should say. <laughs> Just trying to help beg that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.